Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Sigma Stage Online. I am Kazuo Yamaki, CEO of Sigma Corporation. Today, I'm very excited to introduce you the new series of the lens, which is for full-frame mirrorless cameras. Before introducing you the new series of the lens, I'd like to share with you Sigma's plan for the mirrorless lens lineup. Our goal is to develop the similar product range to the one we have created for DSLR. For Outline, we will develop the fast prime with an ultra-wide aperture such as f1.2 and f1.4. Also, we will develop the f2.8 zooms and some other special purpose lenses such as macro and fisheye. For Contemporary, we will develop a several compact but high performance primes and zooms. For Sportline, we will develop a number of ultra telephoto primes and zooms. We will continuously develop some other lenses that I can't tell you today, but I look forward to sharing these with you in the future. Although I said that we will develop the similar lenses for mirrorless cameras as we did for DSLR, it doesn't mean that we will develop a similar kind of lenses. There are some differences. First of all, by utilizing that state-of-the-art technology, the optical performance will probably be better. The second, we will try to make the lens more compact, even for the art lens products. In general, the size of the lens tend to be a trade-off with the optical performance. If we try to achieve the best possible image quality, the lens tends to be bigger. However, as you know, the mirrorless camera is more compact than DSLR, so the lenses also must be smaller and lighter. Here's a good example. The lens on the right, left is our 85mm f1.4 DG HSM art which was originally designed for DSLR. And the lens on the right is our new 85mm f1.4 DGDN art, which is designed for mirrorless cameras. These two lenses have exactly the same focal lengths and exactly the same, exactly the same open aperture. And these two lenses perform very well in terms of the optical quality. However, the sizes are quite different. For the new 85mm, we worked hard to make it as compact as possible to well balance with the modern mirrorless cameras. So like this, we will try to make the future lenses for mirrorless cameras as compact as possible. In addition to such our effort to make a regular product line more compact and better, We're thinking if we can do something even more special for the mirrorless cameras, because mirrorless camera is so much different from the DSLR. We believe that there must be a strong demand that perhaps not yet clearly recognized by the customers. So we decided to explore what kind of new lenses are expected by the customers. In order to properly serve customers' demand, we analyzed what key features needs to be for such new concept lenses. The first, it must be compact. Second, it must be high optical performance. The, this is our promise to the customers. The third, it is excellent build quality. Excellent build quality with the metal housing. In the case of DSLR, especially the up to the medium grade DSR, they often use plastic to make it lighter. However, the mirrorless cameras, especially the full frame mirrorless cameras are made with the metal mainly. So we thought that the many customers wish to have the lens with the metal housing. So three things, compact size, high optical performance, and excellent build quality. All of, these, all of these seems quite obvious and important starting point for any lens for mirrorless cameras. However, 
when you actually look what's on the market today, lenses like this simply do not exist. There are some compact lenses, but product quality, especially the build quality, is not so great. Most of the compact lenses are made with a plastic to make them lighter, which is understandable, but it does not provide the best user experience. So after the long and intensive internal discussion, we realize that what the customers are expecting is premium compact prime lenses. Today, we are announcing three new lenses, and all of these three lenses are developed under the concept of this premium compact primes. And we decided these three lenses, I-series. I-series is not a new addition to our product lineup, Art Sports Contemporary. This is not the new addition to the product lineup, but the special name given to the lenses, which has this new concept for mirrorless cameras. So let me share the three new lenses that we are announcing today. First one is 24mm f3.5 DGDN Contemporary. Second is 35mm F2 DGDN Contemporary. The third is 65mm F2 DGDN Contemporary. And all of these lenses will be available for L mount and Sony E mount. Actually, we have similar lens like this. It's 45mm F2.8 DGDN Contemporary. Since its launch, this lens has been highly praised by the customers. So, new iSeries aims to enhance the concept of this lens. And this lens also considered to be the part of the new iSeries. So here is a concept of the iSeries. The first is incredible optical quality. Second, impressive build quality. And third is innovative user interface. So let me explain these concepts one by one with the introduction of these three lenses. The first one is the incredible optical quality. Here is a lens constructions and minimum focus distances and the maximum magnifications of these three lenses. These three lenses are designed to achieve the best possible image quality within the compact size. I'd like you to look at the minimum focus distance of the new 24mm f3.5. It's just 10.8 cm and the maximum magnification is 122. I think this is a very useful feature for the wide angle lens. This is the MTF charts of these three lenses. As you can see here, all of these lenses perform very well from center to corner. And these MTF charts indicate that all of these three lenses can create the very high contrast image with a very fine micro details. In fact, I can say that the new i achieved the art class optical performance. So in order to prove it, let me share the sample images taken with these three lenses. The first one is 24mm f3.5 DGDN Contemporary. This stunning image was actually taken with this compact 24mm f3.5. As the MTF chart indicated, this lens can create the very high quality images without any significant lens aberrations. And also, thanks to its compact size, you can easily bring this lens even for the mountain climbing. And due to its close focus capability, you can create the very impressive innovative images like this with this wide angle lens. The second is a 35mm F2 DGDN contemporary. 
The astral photography is the most challenging subject for the lenses, but as you can see here, this small 35 mil successfully creates these stunning images without significant lens aberrations. Also, the standard focal length of 35 mil will be useful for many shooting occasions. I believe that this compact 35 mil will sit on your camera body for a long time to be used for many shooting occasions. The last one is 65 mil f2 DGDN Contemporary. This lens performs super well from center to corner. And also, the very unique focal length of this 65 mil will give the new vision to the subject. And with the help of this new focal length, you will be able to create the innovative and impressive images like this. So this is the incredible optical quality. The next is impressive build quality. These are the sizes of these three lenses. All of them are very compact, but they are not too light. The many metal parts used for these lenses creates the very solid feel for this body. And I think they are just right weight to be well balanced with the modern mirrorless cameras. This is the unpainted version of new 35 F2. As you can see here, entire housing are made with the metal, including the metal, uh, lens hood. The gnarled surface of the lens hood help prevent your fingers slipping in attaching and the, removing the lens hood. And all the grooves on the lens hood are machined one by one, which is quite time intensive process, but we believe the premium grip of the lens hood when you are holding the lens is very important for the excellent user experience. Thanks to the special structure of the lens hood bayonet, we achieved the uh, special great feel in the attachment of the lens hood. We also carefully designed the focus ring for its smooth and precise operation. Such a smooth and precise operation is achieved not only by the uh, sophisticated mechanical design, but also the part made with a very tight tolerances. Also, the, all the grooves on this uh, focal, fo focus links are machined one by one. Such a smooth and precise operation is also implemented in the aperture rings. Again, the sophisticated mechanical design and the parts processed with a very high precision made it possible to create such a great operational feel. I can tell you that this is a result of the collaboration between our design team and our manufacturing team at our factory. I'd like you to look at the flat surfaces between the aperture ring and its corresponding parts, which has the reference line. In order to create such a precise and uh, join uh, the seamless joints between two adjacent metal parts, the special care in manufacturing the two parts are required. So I think that our manufacturing team has done a great job in manufacturing these two parts with such accuracy. Sigma has gained a wealth of experience in manufacturing the high performance lenses with a great operational feel from the, our production of the, our cine lenses. Our cine lenses, as you know well, are used by the professional cinematographers. Professional cinematographers demand the lens not only for the excellent optical quality, but also the very premium, smooth, precise operational feel. 
This is very important and critical for the cinematographers. So, together with our superb manufacturing capability and also the feedbacks from the professional cinematographers, we could achieve the similarly impressive build quality in this compact new i series lenses. The last one is an innovative user interface. With the introduction of this new i series, we are offering the new user experience. The first one is a focus mode switch. The new 35F2 and 65F2 have the new type of the focus mode switch. The focus mode switch we have offered so far has a back to front alignment on the lens body, but the new type of the focus mode switch on these two lenses moves on the circular arc. This allows the larger and the more comfortable operation and also it allows it to be easier to operate when you are looking through the camera. Another offer is a lens cap. This is our regular plastic lens cap, which is very useful. So we will bundle it in the, in the box, in the lens box. But for this new i series, we will band second lens cap, which is magnetic metal lens cap. As the entire lens body are made with a metal, we wanted to offer you the metal lens cap too. Being magnetic, we could keep the lens cap design minimal. This simple and beautiful lens cap is perfectly in line with the concept of the new i series, I think. As an option, we are also offering the lens cap holder. While you are shooting, you need to store the lens cap in your pocket or in your bag. This process slows you down because you need to find the cap again to put it back on the lens body. So this lens cap holder has a carabiner, so you can clip this to your trousers or to your bags. And the, this lens holder made from iron enable you to attach or remove the metal cap quite easily while you are shooting. So I think this is very useful small accessory when you are shooting on the go. Some of you may wonder if this magnetic lens cap can stay on the lens body during our day-to-day -day use. Actually, camera and the lens can be bouncing or swinging when you hold on the camera and lenses on your shoulder with strap. So we decided to conduct a stress test, over stress test, to make sure it does. So now I'm sharing the short video that shows how we conducted this testing. We always do our best. All of our products work perfectly with any of you. So here's how uh, we tested, we conducted the testing. Today,
This is how we tested this small accessory. We are always serious about our products, even for these tiny products. We always seriously make sure it works perfectly. So this is the outline of new i series. To summarize, the new i series is compact in size, but achieve the uncompromised quality in optics and its build. So I truly hope this new addition to our new product line help you to create the new photographic adventure. Lastly, I'd like to mention about the prices of these three lenses. We believe that our mission is to provide a top quality product that we can be truly proud of and that we can truly recommend my friends and family. We want to do all of this while delivering our products at the lowest price possible. This is our philosophy. We always do our best to maintain this philosophy for all of our products, but this was very true for this new iCities. Although the product quality is the premium class, but we could manage to give the compact price to these three new lenses. Considering the very high manufacturing cost, I think these lenses are reasonably, reasonably priced. So let me share the prices and the release dates of these three lenses. The first one is a 24mm f3.5 DGDN Contemporary. It will be $549 without VAT. And this lens will be available mid-January 2021. 35mm F2 DGDN Contemporary will be $639 without VAT. This lens will be available a bit earlier than 24mm. This will be available early January 2021. 65 F2 will be 699 without VAT. And this lens will also be available early January 2021. Now I'm ending my presentation by sharing the concept video of this new i series. Please enjoy it. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Please check our global website for the details of these three lenses. I truly hope this new i series and these three lenses will become your new go-to gear and you will find to enjoy using them and they will help to create another amazing result. Thank you very much.